Welcome one, welcome all to the Midwest Gaming Classic 2023. We are here on the Friday setup date. We are going to check out some of the booths being set up now, see who we can run into, and we have some gifts to give away as well. Let's take a closer look. These guys here, Songbird, we definitely need to talk to them because they have something very cool for the new one that we need to pick up. So I just found Jay over at Square Pegs, favorite booth. That's right, Yoshi Story is playing just for Jay. We've got our eye out for you, my friend. Ooh. A return here for the guys from Video Games Monthly because my last box did not include any games. You want to see the garbage they sent me? Look I at do. this. Look I at what see they it. sent me. You will not believe what they sent me. <laughs> da, 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 da. Will you see what they sent me? Look at this garbage. <laughs> Please, look at that. Take it back. I can't believe it. <laughs> He's going to cry. Oh, God, it's so good. He's going to cry. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's see it. Let's see it. Don't put your beer on it. Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, so it looks like we are picking up a bunch of project type stuff because we just got another one. This here, this is super gashapon something, something. something. Look at the condition of this cartridge. So we are going to go ahead, see if we can't clean it up now. Thankfully, the vendor, like, he just wanted to get rid of it. So thank you very much. I'll put his information on screen right now. But uh, yeah, we will see what we can do in a future video. So what am I actually looking for here at the show? There's a couple of things I'm actually looking for. So um, I'm looking for any of the Game Boy Mega Man games, preferably the Japanese ones because they are less expensive. I'm also looking for Spyro 1, 2, and 3 on the original PlayStation. And checking to see if I can get a deal on an Atari Jaguar. Now, the Jaguar is going to be a hard press for me because of the fact that, quite frankly, there's only two games I want to play for it. And both those games aren't very good. Um, I want to play um, Alien vs. Predator again, and I want to play Tempest 2000. My friend Russ, when we were kids, he had a Jaguar. I played it. I enjoyed it. Um, but it's not something that I really want to play all that often so I don't know that it's something that I really want to shell out a whole lot of money um, above and beyond that just kind of checking to see what else is out here and see if we can see some good friends again oh we are gonna also head over to the team over at Songbird because they have an adapter for the new one which will allow me to connect an N64 controller I can finally play games on the new one so I just got to the Airbnb and I meet this guy give his lovely wife a hug and why do you dislike professional baseball so much? I love professional baseball. No, you don't. You like it. You like the American League. I do like the American League, where the Milwaukee Brewers got their start. Well, actually, that's where the Seattle Pilots got their start. But here's the thing: you may not be a Milwaukee Brewers fan yet. 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 But since you are what you eat, my goal is to make you a Milwaukee Brewers nuts. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> that's so cool. But wait. There's more. There's more. I don't know if I've ever told you this before. Where is it? I've got my eyes covered. But you, sir, light up my life. Aww. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. So back at the Airbnb after dinner, we've got Jay from Square Pegs, who's already received his gift earlier today. Oh. And this well, isn't my enjoying gift, another but I'm excited gift. about this. <laughs> and... Um, now, I can't say that you light up my life because I already said that about good. Jay. But we do have a, a gift here for a man who doesn't even know the own, his own font that he uses for his YouTube channel. That's right. But uh, I did want to share this with you, my friend. Yes. Because what's your favorite color? Purple. Hell yeah. Very nice. Oh, and I got a battery pack and no, everything. That's my, no, <laughs> no, no, and no. Did you bring my Saturn? It's my Saturn. What Actually, about my XI? 
Actually, my new one is Thor Saturn. Yeah, so let's be yeah. straight about that. Yeah, but yeah. I just wanted to present you with a, a token of my esteem that is a one of one. Hell yeah. Because I ain't making another one after. <laughs> I had to print five of those to get it to work. So there's misprints? Ooh, they're yes. rare. Yes, there are misprints. So it's one of one. Hit me up in my DMs, not his, if you want a one of a kind, unique light. That's good. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Chris, Thanks, show, buddy. show it up. Turn the light off so you can actually see it on camera, though. That is pretty cool. That's neat. So we're walking around early morning Saturday at the Midwest Gaming Classic. We've got Jay from Square Pegs with us. Hi, everybody. And last night I found a booth that I just knew Jay would love. Like, this is his MO for booths that he loves. I mean, we've got squishies over there, which, I mean, you do love a good squishy. I do. I do. And they also have F-bombs. Yes. And I do love to drop an F-bomb from here and there. Yes. But this booth down here, now I hope they're still set up like they were last night, because if they're not... This is all for nothing. <laughs> this could be in the outtakes. This could be in the outtakes. Patreon exclusive. They don't have it set up properly. <sighs> Jay. Jay, 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 Jay. God damn it, Gary. Jay. <laughs> Jay, Jay, Jay. You made me walk away from my family for this. <laughs> because it's all about me. Okay, well, that's true. That's very true. It's okay. Are, you allowed to play one verse, is that okay? You allowed one verse. <laughs> that was it. Okay. Thank you for being a good sport. Congratulations. For the folks from <laughs> Tron, for helping me pull another one uh, over on The Hobbit. It's not that hard, I'm very short. <laughs> good morning and welcome everybody to the Midwest Gaming Classic 2023. We are thrilled to have you here. Thanks to all the fans, the organizers, the vendors, and everything that makes such an amazing convention possible we couldn't do it without each and every one of you and we appreciate you being here so we have just completed our panel things went pretty well pretty well attended for those who couldn't be here i'll actually have it posted here on the channel for you to all be able to check out now we are going to check out some of the vendors here in the hall we are going to see what we can see we're going to also meet up with my daughter cassie and her boyfriend jeffrey and uh, see if we can't help them get some more fun and gaming let's get going So now we're walking up on one of our favorite booths anytime we go to a convention. We're coming up on Gamers for Gamers. So let's check out what they have going on there because uh, they're good people, great stuff, great prices. Love seeing if I could buy something from them. Five, yes? Yes, yes. Two down, one to go. One Productions here talking to another. We are here with the guys from Songwood Productions. Thank you so much for spending some time with us here. Absolutely. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on today. But for those who are not familiar with you, you tend to focus on the unique, the odd, dare I say, like me, a little difference. And you yes. do a lot of stuff for the, the Jaguar. You do for the Lynx. But the one I'm here for, we're going to talk about the nuance of it. What is that? 
Well, the new one is an amazing <laughs> platform that nobody knows about, yeah, except for right. me, John Hancock, Anna Korlick, Metal Jesus Rocks, a couple other people I know about. Yep. But what he's done is he's created, and I will be buying while I'm here, as this is the Mary 64. And this is designed to allow you to use an M64 controller on a Nuon. That's right. Why is this necessary? It's necessary because uh, the Nuon was, like you said, a very obscure system. Kind of failed the marketplace 20 plus years ago, but now the controllers are super expensive. Like 300 plus. Yeah. So it's very hard to find. So people who want to collect and play can't really do it cost effectively. So with this adapter, you can now connect, you know, a, a pretty reasonably priced Nintendo controller sure. and be able to enjoy your new on games. How long did this take you from concept to production to actually bring to life? 18 months, probably. Okay. And how many different, what were the struggles you went through to make this happen? Because it couldn't have been easy. No, it, a lot of reverse engineering uh, that came from my, my hardware partner that helped with this. Um, but he did a lot of reverse engineering of the actual protocol. So he got a scope on there, could figure out what packets are going back and forth, try to reverse engineer kind of the secret sauce that the new one controllers use. Once you nail that down, now suddenly you can attach a new controller and just translate the packets from the Nintendo format to the new one format. Very cool. And not only new one, but also Jay, where you've got a new game announcing later today. That's right. Two o'clock. One hour. Any hints? It's an adventure game. An adventure? Is it adventure? <laughs> Find out it too. Okay. Thank you so very much. We appreciate yep. everything you do, not just for the new odd, but for all the oddball type of consoles. too. you do amazing work in the community. Yeah, you have appreciate that. that. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Well, we did it. We managed to find it. We scored it. The final game that we were looking for, Spyro 1 for the PlayStation 1, we got it. And best of all, we got it from our hometown store in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. So we're here again with this guy, our favorite hobbit. And you know I love you. I do. You, and you I love do you too. Know and you know that. that I love to absolutely, Sticking in his pouch. absolutely just Reminds make you go nuts. Yes, I do. And drive you batty. Yep. And I'm going to give you something you're going to hate, but you will love at the same time. Is it cheese? He literally already bought it. I bought it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I bought, but I bought the one from him that you got me on that was two-toned on the top. Because I said, you know what? Gary thought enough to buy that for it, to, to torture me yep. with it. I need to own it. Oh, now you own two of them. I own two of them. Uno reverse card, baby. That's right. Thank you, Gary. Right. This is why I don't do nice things for people because. It's okay. Yeah. Thor did that to you, and now you've done it to Jay, and Jay's gonna have to do it. For yeah, I'll have to do it. I'll have to get it. <laughs> okay. I like everything. I'm sorry. Who are you? That's I Daddy know, I K. Am <laughs> almost as forgettable as the Brewers. Yeah, but we won today, so that's okay. Ah, uh, I win sucks. every day, baby. But it's a good day. I seriously. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, no, what was it? Oh, that's finally Daddy K. But ever. see, see now, now, I'm gonna need you. To make me a tray so I can play import N64 games on my American N64. What? And if you are interested in any of the 3D printing stuff that Gary has, you can go to Rock I Solid Weebly site. Yeah, I'll have. There's the, a yeah, yeah, it'll there's be right the there. That, it's been a really long day, but his store's awesome and he makes amazing stuff. Multiple colors too. Indeed. So there it was, the Atari Jaguar. Man, I was te tempted by it. There's only two games I want to play on it, though. I can't justify that kind of cost for two games. But I'm close to doing it. And they're not going to get any cheaper. They're only going to get more expensive. What are you making bad decisions so you see on? the really rare games right there that are really expensive? Yeah. So it's not the really expensive one. <laughs> I mean, you're not buying Sculptor's Cut? 
Yeah. No, no, no. No, he's, no. he's, he's uh, going to buy the $4,000 not for resale Yoshi. Uh, yeah, definitely. That's what it is. The not for resale Yoshi. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting the, uh, the second attack right there. Barman 64 second attack, baby. So 285, what are you going to try to talk him down to? Um, No higher than 285. I see what you did there. 270? I got a fun case. I got a fun case too. Yep. All right, is that a good decision because of the fun case? I'll pay you 285. <laughs> I will slap you right back. It's like, sorry, demand suddenly went up. It's 280. It's a bad decision. It's a bad decision. Not as but, bad as a Jaguar with no games. But I also don't like the Bomberman games, so. Well, that means it must be good. Nice. Nice. All right, so there's the 200 re agreed on run. <laughs> you stole my Saturn already, too. I think that was 270. I forgot the fun case. <laughs> Awesome, thank you. We got them all, all four of them we were looking for, and I didn't think we were going to get this one. So this is the Capcom Classics uh, Mini Mix. Awesome, thank you much. And this has Mighty Final Fight on it. I want to play it again. This is awesome. Let's take a look at our 2023 Midwest Gaming Classic pickups. We've got a copy of SD Gundam X. We're going to try to resurrect and save. We also have the Sawinski copy of Super Mario Bros. 3 that we're going to try to pull that label off. We did pick up a copy of Moto X that is a convention exclusive that also comes with a really cool patch and a pretty heavy coin. Very nice overall package. Looking forward to playing this out. Looks like this is going to be similar to Excite Bike. Did also pick up a copy of Tiny Toon Adventures 2 Wacky Land for the NES. I loved the original one. And then we did get a copy of Iron Soldier 3 for our new one. So we now officially have two total games. And to be able to play those games now, we also have the Ares 64, which will allow us to use N64 controller with the new one. I did stop off at Micro Center on my way up there, and I picked up a Micro Swiss NG Direct Drive extruder for my 3D printer. Very excited for this. And then here's the tool set that Thor gave us. I mean, we've got game bits, we've got screwdrivers, we've got isopropyl alcohol, one-up cleaning card, bright boy, Q-tips, everything you need. Very excited to add this to the collection. This is Capcom Classics Mini Mix for the GBASP. Um, just absolutely love, love, love this. It has Bionic Commando, Strider, and of course, Mighty Final Fight is in here too. And then we did pick up the three Spyro games, starting with Spyro the Dragon 1 for the PS1. And we did pick up two copies of Ripto's Rage because I'm a dummy. But our good buddy Thor had gotten us a copy of the third game, Year of the Dragon, and we actually traded him that extra copy of Ripto's Rage for Year of the Dragon. Man, MGC 2023, again, a super amazing convention. We cannot wait to make our plans for the 2024 convention. Congratulations to Dan and everybody with his team who puts on an awesome event each and every year. It's always great to see friends, hang out with friends, and have some amazing fun hunting and playing video games.